Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group. And what I wanna to do today is show you how to remove the freedom panels. So we'll walk through a step-by-step -step process, what to do with them, and then how to reinstall them back onto your Wrangler. Okay, so before we even begin, the biggest thing to note is that you do have to remove the driver's side before you'll be able to access the passenger side. So if you want, you can just remove the one side. So let's get into it. Start by lowering the sun visor here, and then you're gonna notice this handle just in front of you. So if you pull that down, you'll kind of hear that unclip. Now you will find three other handles around this freedom panel that you're gonna to wanna to remove to take the top off. So we'll start with the front one here, our second one behind us, and then one more just over your left shoulder. Now you'll kind of feel the top push away a little bit. That's when you're gonna hop outside the vehicle. Okay, now this is easiest when you're outside the vehicle. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just slowly kind of pick up from the back and then pull the top out of place. So now that we've got the driver's side removed, you do have a storage case that comes with the vehicle. So you can simply just lay this in. So one thing to note when you are putting these into the storage case, you're gonna to wanna to make sure these sides are facing each other. That way they'll lay nicely. So if you're putting them in the back of the car or in your garage, it will fit into that carrying case. So we're gonna do the same thing now on the passenger side of the vehicle. So flip down the sun visor here and then just release that clip. And then again, you're gonna have three clips around. So one in the middle here, one behind your shoulder, and then one on the other side. So now let's hop out, take this one out as well. So we're gonna do the same process, picking up from the rear and then just removing the top. Now installing the top is just going to be the same process in reverse. The easiest thing to remember is that this clip is gonna go by the sun visor. So when you're lining that up, make sure that you've got that set to the front of the vehicle and it should just drop right into place. Now you'll notice the pin does line up with the little rubber bushing here. So it's really just the same thing backwards. You're gonna flip those three handles, one in front, and then two over your shoulder, and then just pull this clip back down again. Now again, it is important to note that you do put the passenger side in first. So then we'll move over and we'll do the driver's side. So now we'll put the driver's side back in last. So again, the clip right at the front, that little pin is gonna line up on the rubber bushing. So just pick it up, drop it right in there. It might take a little bit of adjusting once you're in the vehicle. You can kind of move it around a little bit and you'll see that pin just drops right in and the same process again. So lock the clip and then you've got the three handles, two over your shoulder and then one in front. And now it's gonna be all secured back in and you're ready to hit the road. Now that was just a quick look at how to remove and install the freedom panels. Now if you have any other questions or need any assistance with this, you can visit us at Walzer Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram and Hopkins or give us a call anytime, we'd be more than happy to help. Thanks for watching.